So I wanted to talk today a little bit about sexual orientation OCD because whenever I first became familiar with it in the community, it was actually called homosexuality OCD or HOCD. The reason that we actually don't use that language anymore is because homosexuality OCD or HOCD implies that the entire obsession is around being homosexual or being a part of the LGBTQIA community. And we now know that that's actually very much not true. Just like with other subjects, types, OCD's main fixation is going to be on the uncertainty around your sexuality. So what we call it now is sexual orientation OCD or so OCD. And what we mean when we use that language is that the content of your obsessions or intrusive thoughts are mostly around your own sexual identity or orientation. Um, this can come up in a lot of different ways. It can come up in fears or obsessions like what if I'm actually not gay and I'm lying to everyone that I know? What if I'm secretly gay? Why don't I know who I'm attracted to? Maybe I'm not attracted to anyone. My behavior seems so different from others, right? So it's continuing to be this like uncertainty or not knowing your own sexual orientation and what that means about you as a person. And I don't want to downplay it this subtype is really distressing. If you're out there and you're feeling that way, you know, we hear you, we understand, and you're not alone in that. 